And three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of the Floor Boys podcast. Once again, Colby cannot be here. Um, rip the man. But today, I have Daniel and Cyrus at their house. We have, you know, used them very much uh, during this during this time. How are you guys doing? How are you guys hanging in there? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing good, but I didn't like how he said that he's used me. I have used you guys to, you know, upload because you guys have good internet speed. Shout out Cable America, baby. Shout out Cable America, baby. And uh, especially during this pandemic, can't really go nowhere. So I just come over here and fuck around and play Smash and rape chicks. <laughs> I'd like disclosure. We do not rape chicks here. Rate. Only guys. Rate. Rate. Oh, 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 he said oh rape. I thought he said rape. No, T, 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 T. As in toy. Not I was about rape. to say that's absolutely horrible to say. Oh, you're yeah, a bad no, no, person. No, no, no. no, we just get on Tinder and be like, hey, wow, wow, look at this chick. Would you, would you fuck her? <laughs> the answer is always yes. If it's got <laughs> no. a vagina and two legs, I'm sticking my wee wee in it. <laughs> So, uh, what's been going on in your guys' life? Anything interesting? Honestly, man, not really. Not really? Not really. I just kind of been vibing. Fuck yeah, I respect that. I just, you know, play with my meat all day, every day. Oh yeah, you're the meat man. That's right, and fixing to be the meat manager at a new store, so. Oh, shit. It's exciting stuff, Sir. exciting stuff, moving up. Man is moving up in the ladder. That's right, that's right. But yeah, I mean, you know, nothing real crazy. I just got back from Branson not too long ago. That was that was pretty nice. Yeah. Enjoyed enjoyed my time. What'd you do there? Uh well we, we did a lot of stuff. We went to like the Wax Museum. Um That's fun. Ripley's, believe it or not. It was all right. Uh phew, the butterfly sanctuary, because fucking Kelsey wanted to do that shit. That was not for me. <laughs> so like, yeah. That is that, it was all right, though. That's like some a, woman shit right there. It was. They had like a mirror maze though, so that was that was pretty cool. Uh, but then we did the uh, the thing inside Bass Pro, like the wildlife whatever thing. That is, that's probably my you favorite said part. that was fucking sick. It was it was very expensive. It's like forty three dollars a person. Yeah, but it is so worth it. You see so much cool shit. Like it, it, I was expecting like just like a like saltwater huge aquarium kind of thing. Yeah, but you see it, there's way more than that. There's like you know like bears and alligators and I, there's uh, bald eagles and I mean so much shit. There was penguins, but apparently I didn't see those. Like, Dude, we the missed penguins those. are the best part. I didn't see them. Everyone we knows penguins them. can fly, so I have probably videos. just flew away. I have videos of a lot. When I went, they had <laughs> penguins, and I took some fucking videos. I didn't I didn't see them, but uh, you got to pet stingrays at the very end. Yeah. So that was awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I went to St. Louis not so long ago. That was fucking bullshit, though, because... I woke up one morning and Kelsey stayed the night and then she, out of the blue she's like hey let's go to let's go to the St. Louis Zoo and I'm like oh, I'm like you know I'm like you know what fuck it all right let's go yeah drive all the way to fucking St. Louis Zoo just to find out that you have to like reserve tickets basically it's they're free but you have to reserve them the day before at least and I'm like are you fucking kidding me I just drove two and a half hours for this so then we just go to the arch and like just fucked around there but I'm like well this was bullshit I remember seeing that on I think it was Kelsey's story yeah it's just a picture of you under the arch and I was like what the fuck? Like this man's turning into Jacob. He just kind of goes places. He doesn't <laughs> goes absolutely wherever he wants, yeah. whatever he wants, and then like won't talk about it afterwards. So just be like, like I'll have to bring it up. Be like, man, were you in St. Louis? But like, yeah, man, I just fucking went. Like, yeah, I hate <laughs> going places. That is all, Kelsey. If if I didn't have a girlfriend, then I would be at my house like ninety nine percent of the time. I'm the complete opposite. I hate I have, in all honesty. I have to be I'm probably the same way. I would just be here. I don't know if that's because, like, I don't work a lot. I, I just have to be doing something, like, all the time. Like, I'm going places. I'm like, hey, do you guys want to go to, you know, St. Robert with me or something? Just because I, I, that's how I am. I have to be constantly moving, doing something new. Well, well yeah, it's because like, you sit in fucking school all day. Yeah, as, soon as, then, as soon as you start work, man, you, like, you work the 40 hours a week or how much overtime, however much overtime you get. And you literally just get to the point where, like, 
It's the fucking weekend. You don't want to drive. You don't want to go anywhere. You just want to relax. Oh, yeah. I totally understand that. Well, I don't even think it really has anything to do with that. I think it's more to do with, you know, like, this is our house. I know. know. We, I like, think that's like, the biggest that's, thing. That's my thing is is this is my this is my place I can feel comfortable. Like, I enjoy being somewhere. And I, I, I pay – me and you pay for this place. Yes. So, it's very nice to just enjoy the fact that we have a space of our own that we – provide for ourselves yes yeah, yeah. it's your your castle yeah, yeah. I, I, well i just think that's the biggest thing because like when i live with my parents like i like being home sometimes but like not well, because not, you always have the threat of someone else's rules taking it, away exactly. something you enjoy and i get that like when my parents the last time they were gone for a long time i was home all day every day because i had i had uh someone close to me got covid so i had to stay home and this was like right at the beginning of the pandemic and I couldn't go to school and I couldn't go anywhere. But my parents, they went to uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama. And I was literally just stuck at home all day. And the first couple of days, I was like, fuck it. You know, this is my house. Like, I'm the man of the house now. I'm going to, you know, get some, you know, I'll feed the fish, feed the dogs. I'll, I'll do some laundry, whatever. But then it, it always ended up with me, like, sitting down at six o'clock and being like, my day's done. And then, like, the first couple of days went by, and I was just like, I fucking hate my life. I want to die. And then I was like, you know what I don't have? I don't have a fucking sub box for my subwoofers for my new car. And so I just went out there and was like, we got a bunch of this shit laying around. So I just started building a sub box. <laughs> no one was home. All this different shit. I'll be working on my car. Uh, I remember there was one time we had a Google Meet in a class. It was chemistry. And I literally stood on top of my like Dodge Dart that I'm working on and I was power washing it in the fucking Google Meet. <laughs> and she was like, are you paying attention? And like, I just opened my mic up and opened my camera and I'm like, yeah, I'm paying attention. It's like, <laughs> and I was like, and then uh, for uh, Caden, what was that? Oh, personal finance. Um, there was one day I was literally just fuck. I was mowing the grass. <laughs> And because they were like, this counts as a grade. You have to be there. And so I just, fu- I was mowing the grass. I was pulling up. I was like, hey, what's good, y'all? I'm fucking, you know, mowing the grass. What are y'all doing? Sitting in class like a bunch of pansies, man. And uh, no, it was fucking wicked. Uh, but yeah, I have to be constantly doing something or I just want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds bad, but like, it's- trust me, man, you start, you start like working every day of the week. Oh, yeah. Eight, nine hours. And that's you're gonna you're gonna cherish the time that you have to literally just you once you once you start doing that you can literally just sit and probably stare stare at the wall for like thirty five minutes like thirty to to an hour yeah and I and just like, and be satisfied just because you get to sit down and relax and that's that's another thing like where I I would relate to that is when. All that, uh, all that shit was going down. Like I said, it was like six o'clock every night. I was like, all right, my day's done. No matter what I was doing. Cause you know, the sun was going down a little bit earlier. Yeah. And so like, there's not a whole lot to do. I can't be outside building shit. I can't be outside cleaning shit. We're just trying on the car. to find normalcy whenever you were, you were literally the one in charge of yourself. Yeah. And so I would sit down and this is how it would go. I would watch a movie. And then after that movie was done, I would just sit there and watch Grey's Anatomy. And I would make pizza. Oh, I didn't know you were gay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I forgot. I sucked so much dick. Uh, I completely forgot. Yeah, just because you know I watch Grey's Anatomy. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't anymore. Um, That was so you're not gay anymore. No, I I went to conversion therapy, and they basically told me, "Yeah, bro, you can't be watching Grey's Anatomy. You you that makes you gay." So I'm I'm, I'm glad that someone clarified it for you. Yeah, and you know, at the time, I thought it was good for me. I thought it was fun. But looking back on it, that was probably the, the lowest point in my entire life. I, yeah, I turned into a, a fag. I mean, uh, think about the dude that you matched with on Tinder. He knew oh, he knew you were gay. Yeah. Deep down. See, I didn't match with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just want to clarify something. You I did not match know, with you him. you swiped right. I did yeah, not. You did. No, You're okay. down bad. No, You're down because bad, I was baby. on Tinder and I, it was like, oh, you got to like you. You know, you have to pick <laughs> one of the four cards to you know find find who likes you and i never in my entire time of having tinder i never got one and so i was like this is just a fucking scam and so i was you know sitting in my and bed it just happened to be a dude that it, he and knew it, it happened to be someone i knew that also happened to be a dude and i said 
Are you fucking kidding me, Tinder? Literally, the only time I get one of your fucking stupid games, it's a fucking dude. A dick spying in between his legs. I'm not gay. That was after I stopped watching Grey's Anatomy. Wait, does he still have the D? Uh, yeah. How do you know? Because if not, we I would know, know about it. We know he knows. Yeah. I, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold You're on. a queen. No, I'm not. I'm not gay. I promise. <laughs> no. Um. No, that was fucked up. I fucking hate Tinder. Uh, the only good thing to come out of Tinder was the chick I matched with who is literally me, but with a vagina. And he, like, and you now guys, he's, too, he's too fucking scared to ask her I'm out. I'm not too scared to ask her out. Uh, you won't do it. You refuse. We haven't even hung out yet. We've then literally just been talking. with her. I'm waiting for the right time. I'm so busy. What's the... I am really busy. How, many, got, days, how many days a week do you work? I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Answer the fucking question. For right now, one. Until the end of so, May, and so I just you're lose so my busy fucking job. After school. You're so busy after school as I, that I, you just can't. Because I'm always doing something. I'm either fishing, I'm doing... Oh, but, that's, oh you, you can't put that off for the possible chance of someone who might enjoy your company? Or I'm going and doing something for my parents. Or I'm usually... I don't get out of school very early anymore because I'm going to A plus for two hours. And so that sometimes there's shit to do at my house. Sometimes I have a job interview. Sometimes I have like, you know, I need to run to Rollo really quick or I need to go to do something. You need to you need to run to the certain city that she lives in, right? <laughs> oh, you mean yeah. the place the place you just said you need to run to she lives in? Ah. Uh, the place where you could literally like stop Hang out with her for a little bit and then go finish your your errand. I don't know if you know this, but my brain is so fucking dumb. I can you, tell. You have known me for quite some time. Oh, yeah. My brain is hardwired in reverse. Okay? <laughs> but what I was going to say about I this chick. I think you just fear happiness. I am scared of being happy. Yeah, because you feel like the world's going to fucking cave. Yeah, absolutely. You think, you think the entire planet's going to explode yeah. if you're happy. Yeah, and especially like... No, like, no. If I That's find... Not, no. <laughs> Shut up. There's no excuse. No, no I'm, I'm agreeing no. with you right now. Okay, I'm, well, I'm agreeing stop and I'm elaborating. Like no, I can't hard. because my brain is hardwired in reverse. And every time I find someone I love, I just fuck it up. I'm like, no, nothing can fuck this up. And then my brain comes out. And he's like, oh. <laughs> You want to fucking bet, buddy? You want to fucking bet? All right, let's fuck this up for your your entire future. What happened recently? That I mean, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was like, man, I regret this shit, man. Did I make the right decision? And then I was just like, fuck yeah, I made the right decision. Fuck everything. <laughs> fuck everyone. Hail Satan. And now I think I'm kind of getting back into the man. What the fuck was wrong with me? What was I thinking? Uh, so, but I've been, I've been coping with it. Well, yeah, I mean, um, you, you have to, uh, some it's days, just, it's literally life. You yeah. just have to get over it and move on. Yeah. And then, you know, there, there's some days where, you know, I, I feel like I'm stuck in a rut or something and I know I've, I'm smart enough and mature enough to realize that no, no one is going to get me out of that hole except myself. So it's my responsibility for my own happiness. And I just got us to give you a little little fucking kick is it kicks in the ass to move I, along exactly and and I've, I've preached that forever is you are responsible for your own happiness if you're yeah, yeah. if you're depressed or if you're sad go take a fucking shower mm -hmm. and i'm not i'm not kidding you it works so great take a shower if you're if you got the gun in your mouth get in the shower <laughs> you feel so much better you got clothes on get in the fucking shower yeah yeah that's Who cares? exactly that's exactly you're on top of a roof bring a bathtub up there <laughs> fall off in the bathtub Take a shower. <laughs> that would be so you fucking feel so awesome. much better. It's You'll feel so much better as you plummet to your death. I saw I saw this meme and it was like it was like I can't I don't want I don't want to take a shower because I'm so depressed. I'm too sad to get up. And it's like, no, you stinky fuck. <laughs> get and go bathe yourself. <laughs> I literally okay. I don't know if you ever seen this show Euphoria. Have you ever seen that? No, never you seen, seen that. It. No. Okay. I've well, seen made you watch that. It's, it was actually pretty good. It's on HBO Max. It's it's pretty good. And this girl was depressed in the show, and she quite literally was so depressed she couldn't even get up and go to the bathroom, and she got a urinary tract infection from it. So she just sat there and shit and pissed herself. No, she didn't shit or piss at all. She and just that was held the problem. it in. She and was fucking. How long? 
I don't know. It, it was like Dude, it was I like ha- a week. I happen to know someone didn't who pissed didn't, for like a week. Who didn't shit for like two weeks. Okay, well, so do and I. And they mean, had to go. They oh, had to go shit. to the fucking doctor. And they were like, we don't know what's wrong with him. We don't know what's wrong. And then they x-ray like his stomach. And they just see a giant fucking piece of shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then they literally basically force fucking laxatives on him until he drops this giant <laughs> fucking deuce. Dude, dude was speaking it of huge? Lo- dude, speaking it was of fucking that, massive. so it just clogged up the. Exactly, <laughs> he broke up with a fucking stick, dude. I'll just shove it up speaking there. Speaking of that, <laughs> speaking insane. of laxatives, oh my god, uh, my poops ain't been good lately. <laughs> My poops, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I feel like like I'll wake up in the morning and be like, God damn, i got to take a mean shit. And I will not take a mean shit. I will poop out little pebbles. <laughs> and I'll fucking... That means you're dehydrated, you fuck. All I do is drink water. All I do, I drink like you're three not bottles enough. of water. Dude, I never stop eating. You can't tell by looking at me. But no. So, my brilliant mind, my fucking big brain... I'm like, I'm gonna take some fucking laxatives. <laughs> I'm just gonna so smart. I'm gonna clean you've out my system. Water. I'm gonna clean been, out my system. You've been shitting out literal water. But no, 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 no. I ain't even taking them yet because I'm. I don't have the fucking time to dedicate that much time to shitting. I'm like, I'm like, dude. Okay, if I take a shit or if like, here's if what I you take do. Them the you night take before, four hours of your time. Take laxatives. Get in the bathtub naked and just turn shit. on the shower and no. wipe this fucking letter and just red, waffle baby. stomp it. No, <laughs> so, <laughs> I love waffle stomping it down the drain. You ever waffle stomp a fetus? Oh my god, oh, all the home, time. Homemade abortion, just waffle stomp that bitch through the fucking god, drain. God, that is fucking awesome, oh, dude. Hot ass coat. You guys coat are fucking rack, or no, uh, fucking uh, hanger. That's my side. Hanger. That's my side hustle. I Sit behind country bar with the coat hanger. <laughs> I got cardboard signs up in, uh, you know, by the roads where people pull in. I think I've seen that. I, yeah. I, I was talking about. I was like, man, I'm gonna go give it a abortion. Yard sale, real quick. And then if you read it under the fine print underneath it, it says abortions twenty five dollars. <laughs> Dude, okay, could you could you scoop the shit out of my stomach? Yes. Okay, I'm Would trained. You, you're trained enough to do There's that. There's different coat hanger so, positions. So no, it's not going to be a coat hanger. It's going to be a plastic spoon with a hole put in the end, and then a coat <laughs> hanger wrapped around, so you can put it up there. It looks get like it one by of those the scoop and bring it out. It looks like one of those honeycomb bitches. <laughs> yeah, you shine. just go up there and like twirl it around and then pull it out. Like Actually, a fucking fork of spaghetti, bro. <laughs> I use a crowbar. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. there was one night where me and Jacob, literally, okay, we were all just hang. I think it was just me, Jacob, and Cyrus just hanging out. And Cyrus was like, I'm going to bed. And I was super tired. And I'm like, I'm going to bed, too. But then Jacob picked up his crowbar. And I shit you not, for like 45 minutes, we were like fucking around like it was an infomercial. And just using this crowbar for anything. <laughs> And I was like, and we were like, yeah, I've got, here's one of my favorites, abortion mode. And we, would, we would literally just be like, you can use it for this and just literally like hold the crowbar in a different position and be like, now it's an umbrella. <laughs> it's like, we'll put it in umbrella mode. And then it was fucking stupid. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, we can measure stuff with this crowbar. And I'm like, this wall, it's about. Four and a half crowbars. <laughs> <laughs> and we did, this was for like 45 minutes we did this shit. It was fucking stupid. That's why I like coming over here. I mean, we just do the stupidest, dumbest shit possible. It's dude. fun though. I know. Uh, yeah, dude. House. I love we it. make the fucking rules, man. Yeah, I fucking love it. Um, no, I, I really am. Like, I think I'm going to take a weekend and like Friday night just fucking take so much laxatives and just like Saturday, just the like whole I said, day just shitting. Let me ask, no, let me ask you this. Okay. Do you like feel sick? Like, do you feel like I'm not in your stomach or anything like that? Like, mo- like sometimes like I'll be laying in bed and be like, God damn, I got to take Is a mean shit. sucking air up your butthole to fart? I do that. That may help. But actually. I haven't done that. It does help sometimes, See? but I haven't done that in forever. Well, then and do it's it. Like, it's like, I think it might be like the same thing when my nuts were hurt and you said literally just go jack off and I was like okay and I literally went and I nutted the fattest nut of my life and was like oh my god I feel so much better I can sit down finally it felt like I've got hemorrhoids inside my testicles <laughs> but I've got to put some preparation H on them bad boys <laughs> but no I, I fucking nutted and it felt amazing uh, 
And so like, I've been taking care of that. Uh, I've been nutting a lot more. Um, it's hard. It's hard to find something I like nutting to. Uh, mm-hmm. I usually just do it to like dolphin porn. <laughs> oh, okay. Have you ever seen a dolphin vagina? No, I've not. Why, it looks why exactly like have? the opening for a dolphin dick. Well, I don't know what a dolphin why, dick looks Why would like, we so. know? Okay. Let me ex- let me elaborate. Let me tell you this story. Us, I know that dolphins are like the only other like creature besides humans that are gay. Like they'll be gay. Oh yeah, and they'll and they fuck also, up a shark and just for the a, fun of it. They'll they're fuck up they're a shark. the only ones like the only other mammal that just like has sex willy nilly. That's what oh, I yeah. say. Like, and that's be, why yeah, they're yeah, perfect sexual gay. partners. Right. That's for pleasure. Just like they just do it for pleasure. Period. Yeah, yeah. And but no, they'll fuck up. They'll fuck up a and shark they made, for they no made, reason. They made for life. So it's quite literally like that's why they're. Yeah. Are they the second smartest? Uh, around that. Uh, no, I think pigs are. I think pigs. Well, like so why humans, can't I fuck a pig? There's humans than pigs. I'm just kidding. I'm Actually, most crows of the are chicks really smart here. too. Uh, crow, it, cr- like I'm crows, gonna, gonna look up crows, crows pigs, and dolphins but, are all really smart. And elephants are pretty smart. Okay, yeah, but, but anyway, about mammals. But anyway, elephants and mammals. So I know what elephant is, but a crow I, isn't you stupid I bitch. I watched yeah, a video. I don't know if you ever watch this guy. Um, Fuck, what's his name? I don't know. Not important. But I watch a video and he'll go like deep into the internet, the bowels of the internet, all the old shit. And he'll just be like, look at this fucked up shit that was posted 12 years ago. And he found it. And it was like an article about this dude. And he was like, I love fucking dolphins. He's <laughs> like, this is how you do it. This is how not to do it. And he's like, this is how not to get caught and all this shit. Like going into detail. And he was like, he's like, dude, dolphin dick, you just jack them off and they'll come and they'll like squeak and shit. And, and he's like, he's like. <laughs> Don't try to like fuck a dolphin though, like in the water, because it'll drown you. And I'm like, how the f- how the fuck do you know that? First of all, if you're typing this, obviously you haven't drowned from fucking a dolphin. So that means someone in the world has tried to fuck a dolphin and died, and this guy knows about it. We've lost a lot of good men on our journey in dolphin sex. <laughs> and so, so he said, he's like, I. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm attaching pictures so everyone can see what I'm talking about. I've seen so much dolphin pussy and so much <laughs> dolphin dick. It looks like a fucking Tim Burton creation. It comes out, looks like fucking like, like a snake. Like an alien? Dude, yeah. octopuses? Octopuses literally it's like... octopi and things. I fucking hate you. Hey, <laughs> Siri. Hey, Siri. What's the plural of octopus? It's octopi. Octopusy. <laughs> it's op- it's octopuses. No way. Yes, it is. Get yeah, that's what Siri said. Retard. Yeah, that's what Siri well, you sound like a retard saying it. I hate you. Shut up. So, the thing about it is, is octopuses have like all eight tentacles. Okay. One of those is a fucking dick. That's literally no how it way. works. And they can detach it. I'm fucking. They literally octopus. have harpoon dicks. They can just fucking shoot it at whatever they want. Okay, detaching and shooting something are two very different things. Okay, it's not like it fucking goes insane sicko mode like 800 fucking miles per hour. I bet that they would have to stick it to something and then they could like pull off. I I doubt they could just be swimming and just go, I think we found our calling. Fuck the Floor Boys podcast. We're going to be aquamarine fucking sexual predators. We're going to go into the ocean. Let's go into the ocean and just start fucking raping animals. You know, just jerking wait, off I've octopus. Got the, I've got the, the ravens are the smartest animal. I well, told you. Like, yeah. You said fucking Oh, wait, no, we have to like be underwater. the same thing as a raven. Okay, What's so the it's, it's ravens, then dolphins, then rats, then pigs. Then fucking a type of monkey called a bonobo. Oh, dude, them fuckers. And then ducks. Oh, I'd be, I'd be fucking a monkey. Ducks are, there's no way ducks are that smart. Fuck I think a it's a duck. certain kind of duck. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Fuck a duck, bro. Okay, we got to go in under the ocean. A hundred leagues beneath the sea or whatever the fuck that Yo, book is. Yo, this can't be right. It says cows are smart. The <laughs> no, fuck. We gotta bleep no that. So we gotta smart. bleep that. There's no way that cows are smart. We farm them religiously. <laughs> There's no way an animal like that. You is cut smart. them. You literally cut their dead bodies every day. Oh, yes, speaking, I do. I really speaking do. Speaking of a fucking cow, bro. So we have this bottle fed like calf. Yeah, you know it. You do. You, well, not my family. Technically, you know. Technically, his family, but you know what yeah. he fucking like, means. Which, like what? Like. There's like Grandma, 17 of them like, down there. Uh, cousins. Like, like that Why? Yeah, they, down, they, they live near me. Um, and we've got this bottle-fed calf. And like every morning, 
my aunt or no, my cousin goes out and she'll bottle feed it. Like as I'm driving to school, I see it every morning and uh, I leave to come here. And that motherfucker saw me and was like, oh, I'm going to get you some food. And I was like, ah, you dumb fuck. I ain't feeding you, bitch. Sheesh. Show okay. sheesh. But no. <laughs> Remember when Jacob was doing that shit? Dude, oh that's all he was doing that entire night. He was just going, I fl- You know what's funny is I passed out where I'm sitting now and he was still screaming. Yeah. I was standing in that fucking corner and he just kept going, sheesh. Dude, li- literally the other night, you, I was, the internet went out, and I'm like, fuck. All right, I'm like, all right, well, I need to, like, go in Cyrus's room and reset it. And for some reason, you decided that you needed to lock your door. I always lock my door. Why? Because I don't want to get raped and murdered. You, the front door is locked. You're fine. You don't need to lock your door. Anyway. I don't trust, I don't trust anyone. Anyway. Then I'm trying to card this dude's door, and he's actually got a like a fucking frame on it, so I can't. I've been up one of my gift cards trying to do what that the shit. Fuck? I hope you realize and you then, know what the funny part is. I wake up the next morning, I go to work, and they tell me that's basically like part of like a uh, it's it's I think it's like a quarterly reset that they do. What? Like the oh that was what happened? Yeah, it didn't just go out. It went out because of something that like actually needed to be done. <laughs> well, yeah, but then I'm like, I'm like, fuck it. I'm like, how long know. did it take to come back on? Like five minutes, <laughs> probably not, ten minutes. You're not that long. Not that long, but still, I was like, fuck. <laughs> Got to reset the router. So then Modem. I'm trying to wake your ass up, and it's taking it's forever. So I'm banging and yelling on the door. <laughs> yeah, I didn't wake yeah, up. Yeah, I know. And I like, literally, I, I, I can sleep through anything. <laughs> Fuck you guys cackling over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> no, that's the other guy that's Dobby. sitting in that chair. That's Dobby, bro. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, do not send that to him. I was going, <laughs> that's the thumbnail, baby. That's, I'll throw that on the fucking thumbnail. That's the you fucking that thumbnail. You yes. guys will understand why we're fucking laughing yeah, I'll so throw, hard. I'll throw the, it'll be the thumbnail for the fucking episode. Oh, I'll just my. go, Wah. <laughs> Uh, fuck, but no, I'm for real about fucking sea life. Um, <laughs> you ever seen a sea pickle? It just looks like a fucking green dude. <sighs> would you fuck a blobfish? Oh, he no, looks so those jelly. Are fucking gross. I would be like all up I in that. Like, on, I saw them on Octonauts. No, <laughs> dude, I'd fuck the penguin on that show. <sighs> fucking okay, uh, okay, okay. Hottest child's cartoon character. Go. Oh shit! Oh, I'm not, I'm not, 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 not like our like childhood. Like this. Like this generation. Oh, the fucking that one chick from Paw Patrol. That the dog. The, the dog, dog chick. chick. Dude, Dude, I don't know. Little, no. gu- little guppies have got it going. Oh, God for damn, bro. <laughs> Talk, talking about fucking sea life, bro. I'd be going on them How guppies, bro. How old do you bro. think Doc and Cheeks? I don't think we could talk about Wait, that. Wait, no, what's that one? What's that one? <laughs> Princess Sophia or whatever? Oh. Dude. Dude, I would I'm fuck gonna, her mom. I would groom her. She's going to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, wait till she turns canceled. 18. <laughs> um, no, we ain't big enough for that yet, buddy. Uh, yeah, but I'm waiting for the police to knock on my door. Nah, right. uh, about call me Carson type beat up. That's, that's yeah, gonna be, <laughs> dude, I, I was literally like, they try to make jokes to me, like, oh, you're a streamer, so you're gonna fucking. I streamed for two days and got banned because I told I told chat I said anybody that works at Twitch like all the Twitch staff I'm coming to your house and personally raping and murdering your entire family I said anyone that uses Twitch you, to stream is said, fucking retarded said, clip that I said clip that clip that chat clip that and they kept clipping every bad th- I said the n word oh. so many times and they clipped it and then fucking Jason Lear reported it and I got perma banned in two days I streamed for three hours in total and got perma a band and they said i fucking got the email because they they would send me here's your stream oh uh, this is how your stream went and i was like okay cool and then i was gonna stream that night and i got on i was like what the fuck is going on why can't i log in how many how many viewers did you even have like 10 really yeah well, that's not bad for streaming for just a few what were you even doing i was playing minecraft like were they all people you knew yeah i oh. mean i threw it out on my snapchat and shit and was like hey guys look watch me get banned <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay. So at four twenty, like four twenty twenty, they said, okay, here's your stream summary. Blah 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 blah. All this shit. An hour later, 
your Twitch account, Sir Poopy Pants sixty nine, <laughs> has been indefinitely suspended. <laughs> Based on a review of your activity or content, we have issued a community guideline strike on your account. As a result, your access to Twitch services is restricted. Reason, engaging in hateful conduct and threats of violence against a person or group of people. I'm sure I said something about hanging someone by their, their toes or something. <laughs> Should have said scrotum. And it, sh- it said suspension length. Indefinite. Trying to get around this restriction can result in a longer suspension and may lead us to reject any suspension appeals you might submit. And I was like, well, fuck Twitch, first of all. I was preaching that while I was streaming on Twitch. I was like, man, if you use Twitch to stream, you're fucking retarded. All this shit. <laughs> Aren't but you, weren't you streaming on Twitch? I was streaming on Twitch. <laughs> and I fucking hated it. It was so dumb. And like... This was before, like, I upgraded my RAM and my PC, and, and like, I was streaming Minecraft at, like, a solid 12 frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't help that I was literally online. So it wasn't even a single-player world. I was online with Jason and I think someone else. And we were literally just... F- they kept murking me, and I kept getting pissed. And then someone got God Mode enabled, and they were flying around just fucking me. And I was like, I fucking hate you guys! <laughs> I'm gonna kill your whole family! And everyone would clip it and then report it and i streamed for three hours and got perma banned yeah i was not fun actually it was really fun <laughs> uh, i'm thinking about streaming on mixer oh yeah i would <laughs> yeah. watch that we're trying to get colby to stream why because i would i don't know <laughs> I, bet, I bet i'm more interesting to watch play video games than colby is. probably he would, yeah. he would sit there and start the stream going Ooh. And then he'd start talking about whatever the fuck. He'd say, Bentley this, Bentley that. I went to Georgia. I love you, Colby. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Bentley, if you're listening to this. <laughs> she's not. I hope not. Say Colby's not on it, so she doesn't have to listen to it. <laughs> yeah, she's like, ah, fuck it. Colby's not on. Uh, I'm Which not one of you guys to is going to pour some hydrogen peroxide in my ear later? I think I'll pass on that. Why? Because it helps Ooh, clean your ears. Ma- Kaden's going to give him a massage. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tradition. Uh, and I'm going to rub one out in your bathroom if that's all right. No, you're doing <laughs> it in Cyrus's room. <laughs> what? No, you're not. From now on, Cyrus's room is the new hangout. No longer Daniel's room. Fuck you. You're Cyrus's my buddy, room. bro. You're okay, my buddy. Okay, I will be in Cyrus's room with you. But No, I want to sleep with you. <sighs> you can. <laughs> You're my bubby. I just don't like the big smelly boys in my room. Like, you two are fine. <laughs> like, Tyler. You two are fine to be in my room, but like, <laughs> Jay, Tyler, Tyler's if you're listening. feet just stink. And he <laughs> takes them when off he came to in, sleep, You so told I can't me about this, because I was, I was so tired. I was half asleep when he came in, <laughs> and you started yelling at him about his feet stinking. <laughs> and he was like, oh. <sighs> I was tired and not in a good mood. So, yeah, I was fucking just Lit. going off on Tyler. I'm like, dude, you fucking stink. I'm like, you stink in my room every single time. Do you, you want one of my air fresheners? I just need to get more... Uh, Scentsy like, burns? Scentsy. Yeah, I need to get they're more. They're pretty cheap at uh, Dollar General. I know that they're cheap. I'm just lazy. I say Dollar General. I don't know what the prices are at Country Mart because I'm not allowed to go in there. I don't think that they sell them at Country Mart. I've never seen them in there. I think they do. I bought one. The Scentsies? Yeah, like the little wax melts. Yeah. Yeah, I no they clue. sell them. Oh. Yeah, I used to stalk there. That's, uh, you know... A peasant's job. That's the old bitch's department, probably. <laughs> yep, Peyton, fuck you. Peyton once told her to fuck you and fuck off. Yeah, you stick <laughs> stick your nose in my shit. <laughs> oh, bo 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 I'm big shit. It's fucking Dixon. Peyton's, Get the fuck over Peyton's yourself. Peyton's a convicted felon. I'm not a... Con- <laughs> that charges have been dropped. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean that you didn't do something I, I that is a I was never convicted. Felony. I've never been convicted, and there was no felony committed. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you'd say there's no proof, but I was about to say... Oh, they caught me in 4K, absolutely. They caught me in 4K. They caught me in 4K. They pulled up the fucking receipts, <laughs> and they said, this was you, and I said... Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I Can't said, really yeah, get out I of did that. that. I did <laughs> that. I ain't going to no, lie. No, you should have said, you should have said, what? Oh, shit. I must have pressed the wrong button twice. <laughs> no, what they it do is they- It was an accident. They lull you into a false sense of security and you're sitting there and you're going- What do you mean? It's like, run us through exactly what happened. Okay, so I got a call that morning and they said, it was like right in that ice storm. And they said- Hey, this is so-and-so with the police department. I'm going to need you to come in and answer a few questions for me. Uh, you can either come in here or I'm coming out there. And I was like, fuck that. Come out here. I ain't fucking driving in And this. I said, 
I was like scared shitless. I said, okay, I'll be there. Like I'll be there at 12. And so I fucking hustled my ass. I texted whoever I sold the cooler to. I said, yo, I need that cooler back right now. And so I went and picked it up and I came in and you know, the cop was pretty chill. Like I, I know him yeah. and he was just like, Hey man, what's going on? And I'm like, ah, you know, <laughs> whatever the fuck, you know, stealing coolers and shit. And uh, <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> basically he was like, write down your statement. And I was like, okay. And I stole the coolers. <laughs> I, I had to explain it to him in words first. And then I wrote it down. And um, he was like, all right, I'm going to fingerprint you. And I was like, oh, yeah, I, I've done this before. And he's like, what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, my brother killed himself. <laughs> oh, fuck. I said... I said, they... <laughs> Had to bring it up, Mr. Bologna Sandwich, did you? Uh, yeah. Oh. And I, they were like, yeah, uh, we're going to have to fingerprint you, you seven-year-old bitch. And I was oh. like, damn, okay. <laughs> and they were like, fingerprinting me in the road, and there's cops everywhere. And I'm like, look, 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 because I'm a fucking idiot. And I was like, this tickles. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> and I'm like and I'm like, okay, like, you know, and for my entire life, I'm like, dude, my fingerprints are in the system. I cannot commit any acts of like felony. And uh, so that's been the <laughs> and only here you thing. Are. That's yeah. the only thing keeping me from like murking someone is like, yeah, they'll find my fingerprints and be like, yep, that was him. We know exactly where he lives. Uh, but no, I got my fingerprints redid. That was cool. Uh, and, and then, then you got your fucking cool mug shot. Yeah, I said, are you going to take a mug shot? And he was like, uh, not really. Do you want one? I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Send your photos. <laughs> and uh, he was like, it was like, okay. So I got my mug shot done. Uh, and he was like, I was like, dude, you're going to send that to me on Facebook or what? And he was like, I'll put it in the paper for you. Right now, I would have said absolutely. fucking lutely Let's do it. Back then, I was trying to slide under the radar with my parents and shit. I was like, they don't need to know about that. Me getting arrested, you know? And uh, so I was like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, uh, they found out. Uh, that wasn't fun. Um, yeah, a lot of people want to stick their nose in my business. I want to stick my nose somewhere else on you. Oh, fuck. Put your nose in my butthole. That's what I meant. That was the joke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. And... Mm, but yeah so yeah that was my experience of uh getting arrested um i haven't i don't know my court date no one's told me a fucking court date so i probably have a warrant out for my fucking arrest i called the county prosecutor prosecuting attorney and they said yeah uh call back tomorrow morning and ask for this chick and i said all right cool and so i call back and i'm like hey yo uh i need to talk to this chick and she's like okay me that's me and i was like i need you to find this file for me asap because like i need it and she's like okay cool and then she puts me on hold for like three minutes i'm in the middle of school at this point like i'm in i'm in class you're in class trying to deal with your felony it, it's two misdemeanors it's misdemeanors two misdemeanors goddamn felon i'm not a felon you're a criminal i'm not a criminal yes you are uh I mean, if you... Okay, I'm a criminal. <laughs> but... this It's okay. This is a place where we house one uh, criminals. Yeah, I mean... They're all here. If the Dixon police here, then I guess... Uh, I don't say that. We don't house criminals. <laughs> yeah, no, no that, that was there, a joke. There are plenty of people in Dixon that... They are underneath. definitely... They're underneath our house. Yes. <laughs> okay, but Doing anyway... Crack. Anyway, uh... This other chick picks up and she's like, Hi, can I help you with something? And I was like... Yeah, like, this chick's got me. And she's like, actually, she's new. And I'm fucking pissed. And I said, well, can you put me on the phone with someone who knows how to do their fucking job? And she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you an attorney? And I said, no, I'm just a responsible citizen trying to find out when his fucking court date is. So find my fucking paperwork. She comes back. Yeah, we can't find you anywhere. And I said, Okay, so are the charges dropped or what? Because if the prosecuting attorney gets my shit and doesn't want to fuck with it, they just pass it on. They say, okay, cleared, whatever. And I'm like, did that happen? And they're like, oh, we don't know. We don't know. And I was like, okay. Our court system's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And like, I have spent my entire life being like, dude, America is the greatest fucking country. You know, I love everything. This has made me hate the fucking government. I am probably going to say some stupid shit, so I'm trying to 
control it's a myself. Shit, in all honesty, it's a shit storm. Oh, absolutely. I'm not saying it needs it needs to be adjusted. That's for certain. Oh well, yeah, but, but like, it's a, it's a good but, system in generality, but it's it's fucked when you go down to the lower levels. Oh it's, yeah, it's and and just fucking like unbelievable. The city fucked. city is fucking corrupt. Dixon yeah. City Municipal, like judicial, all that shit, fucking corrupt oh, as oh, fuck. Oh yeah. And, and I guarantee fucking tea that. I mean, that's everywhere. So the moral of the story is fuck the government. Uh, I'm about to go live out in the fucking woods. And if you want to come confiscate my guns, Joe Biden, you can come prime for my cold fucking dead hands, motherfucker. Uh, John Malkovich ass. You're going to be a fucking crazy man. Who lives I wouldn't be a goddamn woods. crazy man. I'll fucking start a Waco, Texas out there. And if you want to come raid my shit, I'll burn up live every motherfucker that's in there. You want to Drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah, drink the Kool-Aid, bitch. You want to become a skooma farmer with me? Yeah, bro. Let's fucking. You know farm. what that is? Yeah, Skuma? the fucking drink from a uh, Skyrim, bro. It's drugs. That's Skyrim drugs. Yeah, bro. Uh, let's become scuba dealers. That's what the fucking dirty Khajiit. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I'm not kidding you, if you fu- if you fucking play as a Khajiit, you're a pussy. I'm kicking your yeah, fucking no, ass. You're fucking dirty, man. If you, top top Skyrim races, Nord, Orc. If you play Breton, you're a fucking beta cup. Dude, don't sleep on the Argonian. He's got okay. His fucking, Argonian. Fuck you. I played no, Breton no. My first his, ever. His hit skin. Everyone plays Breton because they're a white male, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> no, I, no. See, I actually cared about the like the what the what it did. And Breton yeah. has like resistance to magic automatically. Okay, well, Argonian is hit skin. He gets plus ten. Like, yeah, times, but they look fucking stupid. I don't give a fuck. He they gets like 10 times health regen. I could literally, I beat the game at like level 32. But that's not hard. It's, that's not hard. I beat the game at 14. Yeah. See? It's Fuck just, you, it just depends on how, it, have you seen speed how many runs? Times have it's you all played? based off level. How many times? Probably like six or seven. That was the first time I ever played. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. No, it's about, okay, everything is based off your current level. So you could beat the game at level one, really. Oh, yeah. I mean,. Okay, so what are you now, gonna do? Just refuse to level up because it doesn't work like you can. that. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, I forget. Yeah. Okay. See you uh, later, Caden. But yeah, no. I mean, fuck the government. Um, yeah, I haven't found out what my court date is. Uh, but I did. I did celebrate a little bit um, from that phone call. I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna go get a tattoo. And so <laughs> Tuesday, six o'clock, I'm getting a tattoo, and it's gonna be some fucking satanic shit to piss off old white people. And if you got a problem with that, you can suck my left nut. You can suck the hair out my ass crack. They can suck the brain. <laughs> they, they can suck the goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, no. I mean, god damn. I fucking, I hate everyone and everything. Uh, that's I'm at wow. that point in the podcast. Wow. Except that's, you guys. You guys are my bubbies. Was it me and you? <laughs> was it, who was it that I was, we were literally walking around work going ploopy. <laughs> you know, we're going, loopy, yeah, loopy. Was we were uh, stalking the fucking juice and I just said shut up bloopy yeah. and then he said that's such a fucking dumb word that's and then so he says it dumb. one you say it one fucking time and you instantly just love it no there's been some great country rock moments oh my lord oh yeah dude that one time whenever I said whenever I went every Chris begins with K <laughs> yeah you no, fucking remember, love that. remember you just started working in the meat department and I was so fucking dumb when I worked there. I'm still fucking dumb, but I was retarded. Yeah. Uh when your fucking meat the new meat manager or the old meat manager came in and we were literally sitting in the bathroom together and we always <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, first yeah. of all, first of all, we're taking pallets outside and this man is right behind me and I say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh fuck, I'm losing my job. Nothing came of it. No, and but then, oh, hold on. This is not the old meat manager, by the way. Right. This is the old meat supervisor. So this is, you know, like he was corporate. He's, this dude used to be this, corporate. He's quite literally was like, you've got the guy way in charge. You have the director, one more guy above him, and then there's this guy. You have the no. In the, in the way the company works is you have CEO. Then you have the direct, like there's a director for each department. Then you have one supervisor for each department. Then yeah. there's every department from every store. So yeah. this guy was third from the top, basically, in like his area. And I said the N word right behind or right in front of him. And then we're in the bathroom together. And usually what would happen is we would open the door and whoever opened the door would peek their head out and give a thumbs up. And, 
I was just so fucking dumb. I like this is the most embarrassed I've ever been in my life. <laughs> this man was literally standing. Like he started walking in and Daniel gives me the thumbs up. And then he goes, he switches it to a thumbs down and he's like, yo, fuck. And he just sprints. He fucking runs off and this dude's walking into the bathroom and I'm shutting the door. And this man is like pushing it open. He's pushing it open. And I'm like fighting him for a solid three. I'm fighting him for a solid three seconds. And I'm like, you can't come in here. And the light's off. And I just fight or flight moment. I just turn I turn around and I start washing my hands. <laughs> I just start washing my hands. And he walks in and he's like, oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. And he's like, he's like, what the fuck is going on? And Remember I thought, was it, was it fucking, uh, Special K? No, it was, that, no, spe- it, there were all three of us. Oh, yes. In there. In yes. fucking, we come out and there's somebody just sitting there watching us. All three of us just file out of the fucking bathroom. Yeah. And then, and then the fucking, the old produce manager. Oh, uh, uh, oh no. I'll just, whatever. Uh, fuck it. I'll just bleep it out just in case. Um, but no, um, <laughs> you guys left me and then left the door unlocked. I'm taking a fat shit. <laughs> comes in and you guys are all standing around chuckling and he walks in opens the door and I'm standing there in my naked body I'm going and he goes he goes lock the damn door and he's like I'm not trying to go to jail and I was like I fucking hate you guys it was so I was so I hate that place I made so many fucking dumb mistakes let me explain myself about the old guy walking in because he didn't knock before that moment okay so we as far as, you know, we didn't think anybody was out there. And it was as I was opening the door and, like, walking out, he is, like, he was headed in. So, like, there was no time for reaction. I was, like, oh, shit. Like, this is it. I'm, like, oh, and I'm, like, fuck. I'm, like, well, Peyton's fucked. I'm out of here. <laughs> and then, Left but you gotta, die on you, the you gotta trenches. remember, asshole. You gotta remember, okay, you... After that moment, you were done. You didn't like see him for the rest of the day. Yeah, I had to come back from lunch and work with that guy for the rest of the day. As he After w- he knew that I was in the bathroom with you, not a word was shared about it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even he fucking said, talk. He said, did, did it even happen? Did not bring Don't it up. Don't care. Did, didn't even fucking Don't talk. Don't care what happened in there. Didn't I? It wasn't real. Uh, Me and that guy did not click. You know, oh, we did yeah, not. It means an old I, he was really old. Like he was just weird. Yeah, fuck old people. But no, what else happened? I mean, you know, getting fired. That was pretty cool. You know, Leland's trying to get a fucking job back there. He's bet a bunch of people $100 that he's going to get his job back. I said, you literally got fired for aiding me steal $450 worth of Yeti coolers. He ate it? What? He sold it to me. I sold the one and then I came back and bought the other one. For ten dollars from him, he got fired because, but he didn't roll on me. He never snitched. Mm. So respect on my man's. And then he's like, "Man, I'm gonna try to get my job back. It was so fun there. I did nothing. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I literally wanted to blow my fucking brains out half the time. I know. As soon as, as soon as I, because I, I worked there when I went to school, and as soon as like I started working day shift instead of going to school, and I hardly like ever saw Dan or Peyton. I hated the fucking place. Like I had to get out of there. Yeah. And then when I quit, uh, I gave him my two weeks, and then the last week he scheduled me. He scheduled me more, more work than I asked for, and I just stopped showing up. Yeah. I just fucking stopped showing up. I got several phone calls from him and just didn't. I remember that day because he said Cyrus has three hours to get here before I fire him. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, Cyrus slept in. And so I'm blowing your phone up. I'm calling you. I'm like, dude, you got to come to work. You're going to get fired. And you text me. You said, I've already got a new job. Today's my first day. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) And I was like, all right, word on that. Respect on that, bro. And then you just did. Did you go tell Yannick? No, I I was just like, fuck it. Well, okay. well, me, me and Peyton, we told Yannick one time about that how you were like uh, yeah you're like once John started scheduling me on days where you know you guys weren't working then I just kind of was done and he made a he made a oh, well you gotta believe that but he made a really good point uh he said I'm not this isn't you know 
hangout time. He said, I'm not here to schedule you so you can spend time with your friends. No, I know. Like, that's 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 a high school mentality. And he can suck the skin off my dick. Well, that's okay. true. Yeah, he can. What is, honestly, what has he ever done to you? He's just a bitch manager. I don't think he... I he's, think a he's a nice guy out of work. Nice I think he's a great guy. He's never done anything wrong to me. Okay, you got to look at it like this. Right. He's the boss, and we were we were acting like kids in, in reality. We I've heard... Oh, okay, we weren't, I've we heard weren't shit. like, working more than half the time. I've yeah. heard shit from, like, people, like... Like, the fucking grocery, like, above him would come in and just be like, hey, dude, you need to start doing this. And he would just be like, nah, fuck it. I'm not, he's not my boss. He can't fire me. He can't fire me. Yeah, he fucking can. Wait, who said that? Our manager said that about his manager. Oh, it's it's because it, it's true. No, it, it's really true. Uh, the only person that could fire the manager of the store is... The head of HR and the CEO, because he is not the manager of grocery. He is not the manager of produce. He is the manager of the store. So technically, yeah, I respect that. So technically, I mean, he could fire him, but they don't they don't tell him what to do. They give him suggestions. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, so, yeah, he just kind of it's his store to do with whatever he pleases. And if he's doing a good job. He doesn't have anything to worry about. He could he could give them the middle finger and, you know, fuck whatever they care about. Yeah, but, like, another thing, um, fuck, oh, the, he would get this shit and it's, like, last year's report. Yes. And it's, like, oh, if you match this, if you match or go below, like, or go above the sales with the same exact time, or less time that the employees worked, you get a bonus at the end of the month. This motherfucker was literally scheduling like four people to do truck and then like putting it on my shoulders and me and Colby, our shoulders to fucking like get it done while we have to do our job. That's why Colby got fired is because he told him you need to do truck and Colby was like, fuck you, I'm I'm not doing truck. Well, yeah, that's, that's not the my thing, job. Is whenever you work nights, like whenever I started working mornings, I was like, I'm going to attempt to get truck done as fast as possible because yeah. I know how bad it fucking sucks to be on floors and then have to start doing truck. Oh, yeah. After I've got just like a lull to where I'm supposed to be able to take a break. But then my night manager comes up and they're like, you got to do truck. It's not done. Yeah. And, and I'm then, like, no, and I, then don't, I, but, I don't I butt heads, want to. I butt heads with my night managers who are literally like really good people. I mean, well, yeah, I love yeah, them. They're great, but and they then, also have a job to do and they yeah. can't They can't just make exceptions. And our night managers were, were so good at being personal with them. us and just fucking being like, great. hey, listen, I know this fucking sucks. I will help you yeah, yeah. because they're breathing down my neck. But then like our the big managers like, man, we got to fucking do this. And then I can only take so much of that shit. And then there's like times where I just have a bad day. And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck this store and fuck everybody in it. I'm not going to do what the fuck you tell me. I'm going to do my fucking job. And then when I, what really, I think what really got me fired, what got him dead set on getting like firing me was I got a call and he was like, well, what the fuck? You were sitting in the office for an hour. And I was like, no, the fuck I wasn't, first of all. And then told me I didn't know how to do my job. He said, why are bathrooms getting done at 530? I said, because that's the way I was trained three different times by three different people before you even started fucking working here. And then you would have come to me and tell me, oh, you were just trained wrong. How about you fucking do it? You fucking do it, you lanky bitch. You fucking clean the shit off the ground like I've had to do. <laughs> Mr. Poopy Head. You scrape the fucking dead cat off the side of the road like I had to do in the fucking 90, 90 degree fucking heat. In the dog days of fucking summer. I bet that that dead cat smelled really good. It smelled amazing. It smelled like beef jerky. You should have. It, it looked. Did they have that fucking toaster oven in the back. Should have. Oh, should have stole yeah. a knife. Fucking cut that shit up. And made jerky back there. God damn. You then fed it to. Fed it to every fucking person that I hated. Oh, hey, you like this beef jerky? I made it myself. It's called Dead Cat Supreme. My first day, I had to change a crackhead's tire. Oh. Me, me and Evan did. Yeah. I mean, god damn, though. I, I mean, just broke shit on my first day. Yeah, you did. You did. But yeah, and then I told you, you that you were a dumb bitch for it. I'm like, wow, really breaking no, he said, on the he first said, day? He said, you know you gotta pay for that. And I said, 
I know I was fucking with them because on like my third day I broke a cup. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean there are people there that I love uh, very much. Yes. Um, some of them managers, some of them no. Two people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> two people I love that work there. Uh, and then everyone else can die in a fire. I like I really don't give a fuck Wait, about you them. You don't like Chris? I've never talked to Chris. Oh, I've yeah. I I don't. I don't have a fuck like. Wait, we're talking about we're talking about the same my, Chris, my right? boss. Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought we were talking about the other one. Like, I mean, I, the I don't, one that is the most hardworking animal on the fucking. Oh my planet. god, he gets so much shit done. Frisbee golf champion Sheesh. of the world. But no, uh, there's just some shit like. I really tried my absolute best to not leave that place on a bad note. I even told the manager, like the night manager, I walked into him and he was the first person I fucking told there. I didn't even tell you guys this yet. I said, listen, I'm putting my two weeks in. I said, I don't like the, the way that this is going. It's not fun anymore. I don't enjoy coming to work. I don't. And you're not really supposed to enjoy work. I mean, that, but, that's but the thing, though, is enjoying work makes it not feel as much like work. Exactly. Like, my job, I find someone who, that like, I can have an actual conversation with, I enjoy doing doing the job. Yeah, and I constantly had people breathing down my neck, like, giving me pressure that some high... I wasn't getting paid enough for the pressure that I was getting, and that pissed me off. And then a bunch of drama went down and I was like, I'm not fucking working in a drama filled environment. And so I fucking, I just went in there and I said, I'm not leaving because I fuck, I hate everybody. I'm leaving to save my own ass because I know shit's about to go down. And what happened? I got a big head. I slipped up. I committed a couple crimes. I got (laughs) fired and I got arrested. Did I, do I regret it? Absolutely. If I could go back, I would change everything. In fact, if I could go back weeks before that, I would have put my two weeks in earlier. But you can't live your life regretting. You just got to suck it up sometimes and say, shit, man, I fucked up. I got arrested. That's it. You know? But, you know, I, that's what I've done. I've just sucked it up and I fucking went on. And now here I am talking to a fucking computer about fucking raping sea life. Oh yes. If there ain't what's the hottest sea creature? Oh, uh, dude. Seahorse, easy. I don't know. They're small, Actually, bro. Starfish has that mouth in the no, middle no, no. in the center. Sandy no. cheeks. Okay, that doesn't There's count. That's not a that's, that's just a squirrel. squirrel. No, that thing that was on SpongeBob's TV when Gary walks in and he's like watching that he's fucking like, sea. Gary! Anime. Yeah, he's like, Gary, I was just watching the sports <laughs> channel. It's a you sea gay anemone. fuck. A sea anemone. How the fuck do you say Ane- it? You sound like Nemo. Anemone. An- 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 How do you say it, bitch? Say it. An- an- a semen. CNN. I agree with him. It's a, a CNN. C- no, it's a CNN. An- it's an enemy. It's a semen. That's it. Semen. It's just semen. Just semen. I would dump my semen in one of them things. I don't care if they're poisonous. Are they have a hole in the top? I, I would oh, bang a yeah. sea monkey. Would you? Yeah. What they're, is a sea monkey? They're it's like, like those little things you grow. It's so small. <laughs> it would go on the tip of your dick. It would thrive <laughs> in your body. Wait a minute. Let's buy some sea No, sea I'm monkeys. not going to pour sea monkeys in my dick. I that would. is just not smart. What about your butt? Have you ever seen, seen that guy that... pour Dooski in his dick? I thought I'd seen it all. Have you seen the deer? The It's like the deer butt chug. They gut a deer, pour it down its mouth, and drink it out of its butt. Oh, I've seen that. Dude, That's fucking disgusting. Britton Davenport loves to send that shit to me. <laughs> I've seen my own father. We I killed a doe, and then we were gutting it, and I seen my own father drink the milk straight out of a deer's tit. <laughs> now that and I an animal just thought to myself, "That's my dad." What a fucking man. And then he proceeds to cut out like the milk sack out of it and cut it open and just have a great time with it. I mean, My he goes, he you, goes with, with the first onion. deer you killed, with the first deer you killed, did you take a bite out of the heart? No, because I'm not a fucking savage. That's just stupid. If you actually do that, that's stupid. I've eaten, I've eaten like an animal's heart. A um, dove cooked. heart. Dove heart. Raw. You I've heard it's squirrel good. brains? No. Good. Why would I eat like organs of an animal? Why I'm would protein? you not eat organs of a human? They're high, they're they're honestly so high in vitamins and protein that Did you, you need. Know? Do I okay it, look at me in the fats? They're so good for you. Look at me and tell me if I look like I care what I eat. 
if I care if I'm healthy or not. <laughs> Did you guys know? This is a fun fact of the day. Fun fact of the podcast. You're learning shit. This is a scientific okay, podcast. Okay, let's hear this scientific fact. Do you know if you're in the ocean, saltwater fish, obviously it's a fucking saltwater ocean. Yes. The only thing you can eat raw off of a fish is its liver. I did know that. You know how I knew that? How'd you know that? From that book, Unbroken. Really? Yeah, because they literally, it talks I, about how they killed a shark and ate its liver and drank its blood to survive. I think I read that. Mm-hmm. And that, that, I think that's how yes. I knew that. I, I can't don't know. fucking they, remember they quite, what that is, but. Uh, we read it in Miss, uh, whatchamacallit's class. Well, in, I didn't read shit. Okay, remember in eighth grade. Eighth grade ooh, English class. Yes. Uh, we that read teacher it. that was once a first grade teacher. Yes. Now I, she's the principal of the elementary school. Yes. I didn't. Pay attention. Oh, well, we read, like, different books, but whatever. Yes. Oh, wait, wait. The Unbroken. It's unbroken. Remember, he gets, like, he, captured he's by in the, a plane crash. Did everyone have her? Yes. Was it for reading? Yes. Yes. I never took reading. I was too good at reading to take reading. Oh, no, reading. no, 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 no. It, was, it wasn't reading. It was, it was English. like, an English class. English. It was English I don't ELA. Remember anyway, whatever. That's a great book, by the way. It is really good. They, cra- the they movie crash. Afterwards. It's a plane crash. He's in the military during World War II. Plane crash happens, and it's him and two other guys on a life raft. Stranded out in the water for like... Is it like Brokeback Mountain? Oh, fuck. Kinda. I love that. Gay cowboys. <laughs> way more gay sex. But <laughs> Ram Ranch. <Wow>. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, they're they stranded for like 16 weeks or something. Something crazy. Well, yeah, so it was fun. fucking They survive off crazy. eating like seagulls. And this shark is like circling their fucking raft. And they kill it. And one by... Like, I think I think he's the only one that ends up surviving. Because the he other two end up dying, them, right? No, he doesn't eat them. That's Never eats them. Stupid. How do you think you would kill and he a eventually, shark? Guess what? After he survived on this raft for like weeks and weeks, guess what happens next? Gets gets captured by the Japanese. This fucking God Japs. damn. Zipper So heads. then he's in a concentration camp after that. That's the fucking worst. I know. Bro, that's up every fucking it Monday fuck- for me, bro. Oh, it's such a good book. We but never got to watch the movie, you though. Hate, There's a movie about you it. You hate books, so I might actually have to read it. It's really good. You dude. literally... It's a you, good read. Okay, like, you hate books to the point where I think if I touched, like, a book to your body, you'd burn. It's not the fact that I hate books. Like, there's a lot of good stories in books. I just don't want to dedicate the time to reading the books. I'd much rather just watch a TV show or a movie. Like, yeah. The, like, the reason that I, I read that book... book. The reason that I read that book is because, I, to, yeah, right? I had to. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably enjoy it if I read a book, but I just don't want to spend the time doing that. So, like, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So, if you were stranded in the ocean, how do you think you would kill a shark? I don't. I think they had a gun. I'm pretty sure they shot it, but I don't oh, remember exactly. Well, okay, that let's makes say it easy. Let's man. say you have like a three, maybe it was a knife. I don't remember. If three they have inch a knife, blade. Whoever jumped in after that thing is a fucking man. Three inch blade. Uh, some rope and all the other shit to survive, whatever. Well, obviously, I'd fuck a. I'd, God damn it! What? I'd wrangle him. I, I <laughs> fucked it up. I was gonna do a whole stupid retard <laughs> hillbilly accent, but it fucked. I think what I would do is. He said they had like seagulls and shit. Yeah, I remember I they would, ended up killing seagulls and like, because it came with like a survival fishing kit, like yeah, in the thing. So yeah. then they used like seagull guts as bait. That's smart as shit. Mm-hmm. I, would, I would use the fucking beak and I would sharpen it. And then I would just fucking stab at that shark every once in a while until it just gradually okay, lost well, blood. Okay, let me ask you this. If you're sharpening the seagull beak with a knife, then why wouldn't you just use the knife? Because it's only like a three-inch blade. I a mean, seagull's beak isn't that big, dude. They're it, actually kind of long. No, I'm not thinking of that's a, a pelican. Yeah, it's a pelican. Dude. Well, okay, let's well, just say yeah, it's a pelican. Let's say it's a okay, pelican. But pelican, then like, you're gonna have an actual like kind of short sword on yeah. you, kind of you can't right there. Okay, but you got like a machete look, made out of a fucking pelican. Think of the shape of a pelican's beak, though. It's like like a fucking gullet, dude. The bottom of it, you could not. You yeah, love just fucking fire, dude. fire, dude. All you need, all you need, they, is, they make knives like that all the fucking it's time. out of metal. Oh, it doesn't you, matter. You can do shit like that beak. with wood. That's made out of bone. Their all beak is need, part of like a bone. It's not cartilage. It's not bone. No, all it's you need, cartilage. guys, all you need bone. is then the what top. Is it? I don't know, but it's not fucking then bone. Why is it hard? All There's things need, that are on your body that aren't fucking bone in their heart. Like your like fucking what? fingernails. Like your dick. That's Let me just suck that. Meat. Okay, does it get hard? Exactly. Yeah, it gets hard as a exactly. rock, doesn't it, boy? I exactly. I hate you. Am I wrong? Okay, that's his your intent. teeth. My teeth. Those aren't bone. It's made out of keratin. Yeah, They're calcium. So what if the what, what if are, the, what's in your bones? You fuck. Calcium. What are your bones made out of? You stupid fuck. Calcium, I don't know. Bro. Fucking calcium. Bone, bone marrow, idiot. No, that's, that's what's, inside. That's what them, transports the blood retard. through your bones. If you're you gonna kill someone, idiot. how do you think you would do it? Anyway, 
Wait. What is a bird's beak made out of? I don't fucking know. Look it up. I yeah, guarantee it's it not up. bone. I, okay, so all you need is the top of a When's pelican. When's the last time you've seen a yellow bone? Dude. Exactly. What if you... F- what if a pelican gave you head? It would not feel good. There's no Dude, way. No, there's no that way. That could deep throat like a massive... I don't arm. think my dick's long enough for that. No. There's no way it is. You'd Look have to go beak. in through the side. Look at the beak just itself. It's at least like... At least set eight inches long, ten inches long. I'm about to tell you a joke. Do you know if squirrels die after they have sex? I've heard this before. No, I didn't know that. Well, the one I fucked did. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you come to watch this podcast and did you, you know hear... that kids die after sex? No, I didn't know that. Well, the one that the one that I fucked did. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. I would. I don't give a fuck. <sighs> what are they gonna do? Charge me? There's no evidence. Where do you that think Caden dead. went? Not, where do you think Caden just went? He went home. Are you sure? What if he went over to pick up his new date? <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. Caden's about to catch a case, everyone. Caden's about to catch a case. No. Yeah. So, uh, if you were gonna kill someone, how would you do it? Okay, if I was to murder someone. Um, and try and get away with it. And and get away with it? Yeah. Okay. So the like classic is icicle, of course, but I still no, think that's so fucking stupid. Nah, that's no, dumb. Like, no, that's yeah. Okay. Like, am I close to this person? Like, how close is this person to me? Uh just some random fucking Someone's person. Like I've never I come met. up to you and I go, hey, I want this guy dead. Here's five hundred dollars. Okay. So no, like here's what I would do. I would steal I would break into somebody's house uh-huh. and steal a gun. Yeah. Okay. Then you make sure while you you wipe all your fingerprints off the gun. When you're loading the gun, you make sure you're wearing gloves. Mm-hmm. That way you don't get fingerprints on the bullet casings. Okay, makes sense. Okay, then you just shoot them. You like you? I'm 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 gonna take a sniper's shot. You know, nothing crazy, but you know, like yeah. how, like where's this person at? Anywhere you could pick a pick an environment. Okay, like let's say they live in a cabin in the woods, and it's really easy. I could shoot them and let them lay for like ever, and then it wouldn't matter. I'd get away. Well, I mean, there's okay. Let's say, let's like, just say, there's a possibility they're gonna be found. Okay, they're gonna be found. Like, unless, but, and if you just leave them there, they're gonna be found. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave them there because it doesn't matter. Because I shot them with. There's no way they can. Because that's why you steal a gun. Yeah. Because then there's no way that that gun's connected to you, as long as you don't get caught stealing it. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Then yeah, then I'm fine. Then all I have to do get rid of the gun. I think that's too many doors to open. What do you mean? I because one, you've got a case on you for stealing a gun. How will they find? Okay, look you where gotta, we live. Look where we live. Everybody has a gun. Nobody has any cameras. How they not in this? Not in the, in the city. Okay, uh, but I'm I'm not saying that they do. I'm just saying I would play it safe, and I I wouldn't I wouldn't break in unless I like knew that person or something, and like not like personally, but I just knew from casual conversation. Oh, they've got guns, and I go steal one. Have an alibi. I think that's too much work. What I would do is I would. You don't have to have an alibi. Here's what you do. Okay. Well, like, I mean, uh, well, there's there's a chance of you getting caught. You have to be cautious about it. This there's is a chance your, of you getting caught no matter what. Well, yeah. This is how I would do it. First of all, I would find out. I already know where they live because you just paid me five hundred dollars. I want this person dead. This is all the details about him. Find out their routine. Okay, let's let's just acknowledge the fact that five hundred dollars is not a lot of money to kill somebody. I would kill no. someone for five hundred dollars. That's no, I would not. That's okay, way more. So of here's risk. the thing: is I think you're just a horrible person. That's uh, way yeah. more of a risk. If you're willing to do it for five hundred bucks, no, sir. That's if like saying you're me, willing to take you know life in prison or the death sentence for. And this $500. is why this is why we're having this conversation okay, so okay, I can get yeah. away with it. All right, fair enough. So. Well, that makes no no sense to even do it for that amount of money. I got five hundred extra dollars, and all it costed was some random person's life. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. So you know, I already know their their routine, all this shit. I gain their trust. They let me into their household. No, see, that's a bad idea. Why? Because then, like, okay, oh, what if somebody they, sees you with the them? Police, yes. The police can automatically tell whether it's a forced entry or not. Exactly. So they're already going to know that you're someone who's familiar with yeah, them. Yeah, and then that, Other people yep. are going to have seen you in public. Yep, and that from that point on, down. you're fucked. And most murders and, like, rapes and everything happen... To people that like, are Like, you know them. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, So, scratch that. I would find a, a way in their house so it's not forced entry. Whatever. You know, let's just say they have a key under the mat. Oh! That's still kind of fucking fingerprints on the key. You wearing gloves? Yes, okay. I'm wearing I'm wearing gloves. I just bought the shoes from Walmart, 
all this shit. Are you throwing them out afterwards? Oh, yeah. I'm burning everything, okay. like, in a separate area. How'd you buy the stuff? With your card? No. Cash. cash exactly. Cash, you got to use cash, cash every time. And so I go in, and I'm wearing, like, surgical booties over my shoes, and I gloves on everything. The hair booties net. aren't that quiet. Trust me, I have to wear booties when it's muddy outside. They're not quiet. They're at all. in the shower. They can't hear you. You okay. go in. <laughs> How do you know they're in the shower? Because I know you got the, the You got the whole thing. You got, yeah, this you person has been close them. to them and they know what's going on. Yeah, okay. okay. You come in, they're in the shower. All you got to do is you peek over the edge with a handgun, push it up against their head, bah, one shot right, into the, right in the top of the head. Yep, make a silencer. Right in the top of the head, on the side, angled. Because if it goes straight through the middle, there's a chance that they live. Go through the side, takes out both lobes. Okay. They're in the shower already. Hot water, bleach all in that shower. Draw them up in their own bathtub. Multiple bags, triple, quadruple bag it. Every county around you, go and pick some random place. Drop one in the trash can. Go to a different county. Why not just hydrochloric acid them right there? How how are you gonna get hydrochloric acid for five hundred bucks? How the fuck do you get there? You walk. What do you mean? No. That's what I'm saying. I'm not buying it. The money amount is so stupid. Just just. Where'd you get the pistol? Already have it. Yeah. Silencer. Did you make it? Yeah. It's gonna be ineffective and probably a little bit louder than okay. It, it, well, it doesn't matter. Silencers aren't like they are in the movies. Yeah, your gun is still loud. Yeah, all it does. No, I know. You just deafen it a little bit. Yeah, shoot them. Okay, drop them up in the bathtub. You take them to, but not even okay. We spread counties. out the body parts. Spread out the body parts. Yes, and then you burn everything you you had on you. Burn it, bury it, and then you fucking hit the road. Gone, and you lie low for like two three years. Then you come back. 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Three years of your life. You <laughs> yeah, you know you're spending way more than 500 bucks. <laughs> it's yeah. literally so the entire purpose of so this. You're just taking a vacation for a little bit. Actually, I like to change my answer. Okay. I wouldn't shoot them. I'd poison them. Poison them? Yeah. With what? I would be like, okay, like, let's say, okay, I've got their, this person's deets, you know? They yeah. get some, they get DoorDash every once in a while. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to start doing DoorDash. And then eventually, you know, I'm, and I'll just be in the area. Eventually... I'm going to get their order. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just going to happen eventually. It's just a waiting game. Only, yeah, it's a waiting game. So it's going to take a while, but you know, this person didn't give me a time limit. So then, you know, once I get their food, you know, what, what, what's an effective poison that's easy to get? Arsenic. Uh, it'll show up. It doesn't matter if it shows up. Oh, uh, potassium chloride. Oh, well, shit. Okay, this would be actually be kind of rough because they would could definitely trace it to me. Potassium chloride. They, they could trace this to me so fast. They could be High like, levels of potassium can't be traced. It doesn't show up on a test either. No. I saw this in a fucking true crime thing. That's what I... That's salt. That's where I saw this. Salt. You give them so much salt that they just get salt that their body can't handle it. And but they I would just, have to inject that into him. Like, there's no way he's going to eat that much salt true. and not be like, yeah, but this is salty. You just come up to... Potassium can't be traced. And if you get too much, like it can't be tasted and it's... It can't be tasted and it can't be traced inside the body. That's I think just idea. poisoning somebody is interesting. Maybe, yeah. I wouldn't, maybe I wouldn't do the DoorDash thing because that's tra- That's too easy. Yeah, that's traceable. They could, taste, they could test the food and they'd be like, all right, well, the, where's this DoorDash guy at? Yeah. So like, yeah, no, that wouldn't... No. I would probably... I would poison him. It doesn't matter if it's like, you know, it's going to show up or not. So I'd probably use something like, I don't know, what, what would kill somebody if they just drank it? Bleach? Mm. I mean... You have to drink well, a lot of bleach. Yeah. You have to drink a lot. What, what, it, it what's a poison that's effective? Battery acid. Dude, I just told you. you just, potassium what? Potassium chloride. Where do you get that? You can literally buy it off the shelf. Where? I've never seen potassium Drain chloride. Cleaner. It's just potassium, dude. Melt their insides. Drano. Let's look through my list of chemicals. You, why do you have a list of chemicals? I hate you for that reason only. Mm. You know what? Actually, ammonia and bleach. Make well, mustard that's, gas. That's a slow dip. No, that doesn't. Wouldn't kill them. That would just like fuck their lungs up forever. That's true. White phosphorus. Drop it on their fucking head. How do you make white phosphorus? You want to know? Get you some styrofoam and gasoline. Make you some homemade napalm. No, Burn it's the not down here. You can it's, make it's agent actually diesel. Nah, agent orange, cool mustard enough. gas, white phosphorus. Ga- gasoline does work, but it's not. Fuck it's good, it. Not if we want to go like, okay, let's say you, there's no chance of you getting caught. 
If it's, there's zero chance of me getting caught, period. I'm just gonna fucking stab him point blank. Okay, there's what's no the, chance of no, me getting caught. No, that's brutal. Stabbing him was brutal. You I had to look into their fuck? eyes as they died. Okay, five hundred dollars. Okay, no chance of getting caught. Cheapest way possible. I'll probably just strangle. Yeah. Him. Okay. okay. Well, what if this guy's a fucking UFC fighter? Then what? Okay. Do you do? Well, then I'll oh, use a gun. <laughs> this is how I would do it. You have to be creative with it this time. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I would get join a moving crew. <laughs> Explain, <laughs> explain, explain that you only you only move pianos, <laughs> only pianos, and then you tell them that there's a specific address. You buy an apartment at this at this address where you know this person walks below every day. You lift in the Keep piano up, me, up to the fucking house uh-huh. through, and it's got to go through these double windows that you just got this apartment for, and then as you're lifting it. You have a sniper uh-huh. one mile away on a water tower Sheesh. who shoots the rope off of the piano and uh-huh. crushes the guy. That's brilliant. Yes. I that's that kind of puts foolproof. mine to shame. That's a Chris Kyle type shot. Yes. That's a far oh that's have you kinda, ever, dude, shooter. Easy. Chris Kyle's not the only one. <laughs> well he's shooter dead, succeeded. So you're gonna have to resurrect him. Yeah. Uh and so this is how I would do it. I would take old school science, boys. I'd be throwing a fucking, I'd be throwing some, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, dry ice. And I would put a bunch of nails and metal fragments and I'd put it in a two liter bottle, shake that bitch up and I would just chunk it at them. And hopefully they're still in the bathroom and then just f- like, I would tape it to the side of their head. I'd say, hey bro, let me do this science experiment. And then just tape it to the side of their head, pipe bomb right on the side of their head, just boom, and kills them. <laughs> I think that would be fucking amazing. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's crack the, have you cracked your dooski open yet? No, I not Let's crack them open right next to the mic. Okay. Here, let me lower down the mic volume so that it doesn't fucking peak. All right, on three, one, two, three. All right. All right. We've got about 15, 25 minutes. Let's say that dragons were real. Okay. I like this. Okay. How would you kill a dragon? Mm hmm. Where, what are my rules? Okay. They're sentient. And they're. They speak English. They can speak to you. Okay. And I can speak to them. And they're very peaceful. Uh huh. But let's say they're on your land. On my land, they're on your dragons. Land. Okay, and you need to basically evict them, but they're not going. Uh-huh. They've lived there for thousands of years. Okay, let's pretend that like they're the Indians. Yeah. <laughs> How would I kill an Indian? <laughs> but it's a dragon. But it's a dragon for this purpose. Just because fuck it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? And they are immune to basically everything. Uh huh. So how are you killing this dragon? But they're immune to everything. I know. Can so I how shoot them? Am I allowed to shoot them? It's not going to do anything. But not yeah. going to do anything? Yeah. They're bulletproof. Okay. Let's just say they're bulletproof. Okay. They're not immune to anything. They're, they're just bulletproof. Yeah. So I can't I can't even just like Not even RPGs. You cannot no, RPG. No them. explosives. Not a no. tank. Not no, no nuke or anything. Okay. So it's what you're going to do. Your land. You, you want to use this land oh, so you could okay. kill them. So the first thing you do is you get a donkey, right? Okay. Everyone knows the dragons love donkeys. Via Shrek. Okay, that's, that's fair true. Enough. That's true. So you lure the male or female. Uh huh. Dragon. Uh, it does. They can switch. They can switch. Whatever they want. Okay, wow. so that doesn't matter. In this matter. situation, just okay. get a hermaphrodite so you get donkey. Seventy. <laughs> you get them seventy-two virgin. <laughs> that's donkeys. a lot of donkeys. That's a lot. I don't know how the fuck you get that. Virgin donkeys. <laughs> you bring them to the dragon. Okay. And then the dragon falls in love with all of them. And makes love to all of them. And then you lure the donkeys away. And then the dragon follows their scent into a cage. Here's here's a counter. <laughs> here's a, and, then, and then the dragon's trapped forever. Here's a counter argument to that. Okay. What if the <laughs> dragons convince the donkeys to stay on the land and start a family? <laughs> and now you've got you more dragons and more Actually, donkeys. dragon donkeys. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I'd be dragging these donkey dicks all over them, bro. I'd be fucking dragons all day. You have a bunch of fucking dragon donkey hermaphrodites flying around. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no. 72 I mean, hermaphrodite donkeys. <laughs> virgin hermaphrodite donkeys. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. I mean, that's, that's a dilemma. That's, that's, that is a okay, dilemma. Okay, well, we how know how you... is handling the situation. <laughs> how would you handle this Oh, pain? fuck. I mean... I would probably just give them blankets with smallpox <laughs> like I did with the Indians and be like, hey, buddy, I love you. And then I would just be like, oh, hey, uh, I hear I hear all these deserts are pretty cool to live in. Uh, here's about 300 square miles that's dedicated to just you. You get to rule this land. Are they moving? They're like, like I mean, are they like the Indians? We can just kind of kick them towards a reservation they're not move, like they're not moving they're no not matter they're what. Dead, you have to force this dragon off to, its i have land. to either kill it or just absolutely butt or chug a dragon lure cock it. Mm-hmm. donkey lure it oh, fuck. that was a pretty good strategy <laughs> that was a that was really creative. good that was creative strategy <laughs> uh what i would do fuck i would probably is there a way i could live in harmony with them no they're destructive they burn my land. Either it's you or them on this land. You were okay, okay. So either you need to move them or they are going to move okay, you. Okay, so what you're wanna gonna what you're gonna wanna do is dress up like a donkey and get <laughs> fucked by a dragon. And then Uh-oh, I'm having flashbacks. Oh. Hey, you're gonna have to throw it back on a dragon. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw it back on a dragon. <laughs> oh, I'm having flashbacks of the last episode. Bigfoot, where are you at? I'd <laughs> much rather take a Bigfoot dick than a dragon dick. Look, look dragon up, is way bigger. Look up bad dragon. Dot com. No. no. Uh, never. Give me a dragon dildo. I'm never fucking never. I think I think when I get my dorm, I'm absolutely buying a Moby Huge or just a fucking huge dragon dildo, and I'm just gonna set it on my desk. And so people are gonna walk in and get be like, it, what get the one fuck that's the height of your bed? Oh. And then put a table, like a tabletop on yes. top of it. Use it as a nightstand. I'd be like, dude, I'm an engineering student right now. Of course I'm gonna be making tables out of shit. That's actually a brilliant fucking idea. Okay, so how are you getting rid of the dragon? I'm getting rid of the dragon by... Ah, fuck. I still think I have the best one. Oh, you have the best one. That was so (sighs) creative. I would... uh, I would hire Rick from Rick and Morty. Okay. And we would go on an epic adventure to the very soul of where all the dragons came from. They're slutty. They're slut <laughs> They're dragons. The they love dragons. shit play and fucking woolly mammoths. They do. And I would go down there and I, I'm not going to lie, I've never finished the episode. So I don't know how it ends, but <laughs> this is how it would end in my book. We would have an epic slut orgy. And <laughs> That's we would, what it is. How is this going to get them off your land? And I would, I would say, I bet I can last longer by fucking all of you and I'll make all of you come before I come <laughs> and I would sign a blood contract with all the dragons saying if I come after you guys then you guys have to leave and they would be like dude we're slut dragons literally all we do is fuck and, but they don't know they don't know that I have taken 16,000 milligrams of Viagra three <laughs> days before and my cock has been erect <laughs> For three days straight, 72 hours straight, and I'm just coming off of a Viagra high. And oh, by the way, I am zooted off of probably about a kilo and a half of Coke. And I'm just fucking these dragons. And I'm on LSD. Okay. So everything feels so great to me. And I'm sweating. And I'm using my sweat as lube as I'm fucking these dragons. And they're like, they're like, get tired. I'm, I'm, I'm like, their assholes are prolapping. or prolapsing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just fucking them. And I've got three strap-ons, so I'm fucking from every angle. So like my a, question is, are my you hips? fucking dude dragons too? Any dragon. Because <laughs> he said, he said, okay. there's only one dragon on the land. Oh, no, I'm going to the heart of all oh, the dragons. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. And I'm, I'm like, like, my hips are going like a hula hoop because I got dildos all around me. And I'm just fucking each dragon like a hula hoop. <laughs> And you I'm have going, a circle. You have a circle of dragons around, and you. I'm just going, ah, uh, ah, <laughs> uh, fucking these dragons, and they're like assholes are falling out. There's blood. <laughs> there's dragon there's blood. There's dragon cum. What the fuck, guys? I can't, I've got, I can't produce that much sweat to use as lube, bro. And I'm just <laughs> fucking these dragons, and I'm going, oh Bam. yeah. And then like because I've only got one dick. I pick the loosest dragon to fuck. <laughs> so my dick can't really feel it. And I'm already high. I've got Viagra. I'm coming off of Viagra high. I'm on LSD. And I'm just fucking okay. all these dragons. There's oh. dragon cum all over the ground. And they're slipping and sliding. And I'm just fucking picking them up. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then one by one, the dragons have heart attacks because I've spiked the end of the dildo with, with pesticides and and their hearts beat so fast because I'm fucking them. And that circulates it through their blood system because their hearts are going so fast and their lungs can't keep up because they're moaning so loud. And they're going... They're losing all of the air out of their lungs. You spike the dildo <laughs> yes, and, I'm, and I've got I've got fucking octopus arms from Doc Ock. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got I've, I've got them in like a fucking like a fucking python. I'm squeezing them so every time they moan and they try to gasp for air, I'm squeezing them tighter. And they're they don't know what the fuck is going on. And one by one, they just drop. They're dead. just dying. And I'm, and I'm still fucking them. I haven't nutted yet. <laughs> Necrophiliac fucking dragon fucking, dude. And I'm just going, uh, uh, uh. And then finally when I come, there's this one last dragon. The elder dragon. <coughs> loosest asshole. Fat as cock. And I'm just fucking him. Okay. And the pesticides aren't working. And we're both like sweating. And we're just going, we're going at it. We, no one knows what the fuck is going on. And this, like, me and this dragon are fucking mind locked. We're not even saying anything. Didn't you just say a second ago he has the fattest cock? Yes, he has the fattest cock. And my dick, my dick's small. But I'm coming off that Viagra. And I'm like, I mean, it's a battle of the minds. We're, this is literally how it's going. You're just hearing. In that, it's like a horse cow. Absolutely out of nowhere. There's no Your dick turns into the Hulk's cock. No, no, no. It turns purple. I'm losing blood circulation because somehow, <laughs> somehow one of the pesticides got in my mouth. And I'm losing focus because I'm going, oh, I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned myself. One of these dragons fucked me with my own dildo. And and so and and there's no there's no words being spoken between me and this dragon. It's all in the mind. And he's like, You've gotta give up sometime. And I'm going and I'm going, I'm going, I'll never give up. I'll never give up. And this is all in your you guys are psych psychically linked now. Yes, yes, because we fucked so much. And I'm just and then finally, like a fucking NASCAR race. His tire blows out. <laughs> fucking, there's blood gushing out of his asshole. And it's getting all over me. I look like a, I just, I look like Carrie from the fucking movie Covered in Blood. And I'm just going, I'm like Rainbow. And I'm like, ah, fucking dragons. And then he's like, he's like, you're like Rambo you're and like then, Adrian yeah and then there's fucking like in slow motion that's Rocky in slow motion it's just like I f I he come he's the last one to come <laughs> basically it was a battle of who can who can I make come first and who can I fuck until they die and <laughs> <laughs> they're dragons by the way these aren't people these aren't people and so like I'm just I'm just going 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 and they have to slow it down review that shit send it to New York and review it and <laughs> and and in slow motion the first drop of cum comes out of his cock and as I pull out and he comes a fucking volcano of cum this is the most cum you've ever seen it's enough to fill an Olympic sized swimming pool and then I pull out and I come and there's cum shooting up and there's cum shooting down the ceilings are dripping down there's stalactites of cum and I'm just like oh, oh my god fuck oh, in slow motion and then and then we both drop down and we're like oh, oh my god and he's like you have bested me now choke me to death with that cock and I fucking like a fucking Zelda with all my swords all my all my dildos I fucking link them together to one giant dildo they get fused in with my cock and I just stick it back in his throat and he's just like ah <laughs> I don't ever remember Zelda doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like violently shaking. Like this is not peaceful for him. He's he is hurting this right is now. A bad death. And he's like he's like face is turning purple. His scales are just fucking falling off. Like he's shedding. And then like I and, and I see like I fucked him so raw, his fucking <laughs> ribs are coming out, and I break off one of his rib bones and I stab him into his eye. And I'm just like fucking choking him with the cock. And I take his tail, I rip his tail off like a fucking gecko. And I wrap it around his throat and I fucking pull it back. And he's like, ah! 
<laughs> and like, and finally, he drops dead, and I'm fucking exhausted, and I'm covered in cum and blood, and I'm finally sinking beneath the waves of the cum, because I mean, there's there's probably about 18 foot of cum just on the floor, and, and I'm just sinking beneath, and Spyro comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah! And he's like, you forgot about me, cum master! And I go... Save me, Spyro. I'll let you live on my land. And he's like, Sounds like a deal to me. And he swings down and dives into the cum and saves my life. And as we're flying out of the cave, I go, Spyro, you forgot about one thing. He's like, what's that? My cum has pesticides in it. And he goes, what? What? And I jump off his back in slow motion, and a stalactite of cum falls through his head, stabs him through his head, and he's just like, he just goes, and just fucking explodes, like when you, uh, fuck, uh, when you kill the ender dragon in Minecraft, and all those light beams come out, except it's cum shooting out of him, and he's like, I like how you were literally drowning in cum. I was drowning in dragon cum. And and so I fucking zoinked Spyro to save my life and only for him to get stabbed in the head by cum. By a cum stalactite. A st- cum yeah. stalactite. A cum to light. Oh my and, you, know what's, you know what's funny is Daniel hasn't even done his. I uh, know. That was amazing. And we've got 15 minutes. That was absolutely so, That was way more creative than baiting him with 72. I donkeys. had to outdo it. Hermaphrodites. And Hermaphrodite so, What's funny is he had to outdo me, but now you have to outdo you have him. To and me. I can. That you was fucking I mean, you don't have to, but that's how I would That's how I would get the dragons <laughs> off my land. An epic sex. Massive amounts of cum. Cum with pesticides in it. <laughs> Uh, how is a pesticide killing a dragon? Because it speeds up their heart. <laughs> and then he and then said, that, I'm off 16,000 grams of fucking Viagra. And, and for 72 hours. So my dick is like beat up. And so <laughs> yeah, he's like, done. he's it's, lasting. It's done, so you're not coming. There's yeah, I'm no not way. coming basically. And, but so yeah, basically the, where the pesticides come in is because I'm fucking him so hard. They're breathing so hard and their body yeah. needs some more oxygen. So their heart's beating, which is circulating more blood and the pesticides get in their blood. And the more I fuck them, the more pesticides come out. And so slowly I'm just poisoning them with cum. Yes. Uh, so that's how I would kill a single dragon. <laughs> you didn't have to kill it. You just had to find a way to get it off your land. Well, fuck, I'm killing it you by fucking it. him to death. <laughs> okay. You killed more than one. God damn, I, I make sure they never come back. That was tough. Come. That was that was pretty good. Okay, so what I would do is, you know, this is a pretty big dragon. I'm I'm figuring this is this thing's, you know, it's it's like a Skyrim sized dragon. It's pretty big. I'd say about 50, 60 foot. Yeah, it's huge. Like, so here's what I would do. Okay. First, I would find a wife. Okay. And I'd start a family. All right. And this dragon's just living peacefully for now. Yeah. And then one night while it's sleeping, what I'm gonna do, I take my wife and my kids. And then I crawl into its mouth, down its throat, into its stomach with my whole family. I bring my whole family. We also like brought some wood and stuff, stuff to survive. Uh-huh. And we build a house inside of it. You build a house inside of a Skyrim dragon. In, inside of the dragon. We're in the stomach of the uh-huh. dragon. And then, you know, like, he obviously is going to wake up at some point while we're doing this. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can't just build a house inside of a sleeping but dragon. But yeah, we're inside of the sleep. We're, we're inside the dragon. Yeah. Okay, and we just, we build a home, and we are going to live there. So, you know, this dragon, we're psychically linked now, because I've li- I've started to feed off of his flesh. Yeah. Because there's no food inside of a dragon, you know, oh, besides boy. what he eats. And by that time, it's mostly digested. Yeah, well, I mean, we're in the stomach. Oh, so you're like basically... We're inside of the stomach of the dragon. Living around stomach They're acid. basically in the nether. We built a platform. Oh, like in the of stomach. Of steel bars. So the stomach acid can't... Yeah. It cannot... Yeah, yeah it's I'm not going to eat the steel bars. I'm following. You what know? are razor blades made out of? I don't know. Aluminum, steel. steel. Stomach acid can eat through razor blades. Okay. Well, what the, whatever the fuck metal is not going to, you know, get eaten by stomach acid. Copper. Copper bars uh-huh. is what we're using. You know, we build a platform up out of the stomach acid, build a house on top of that. And so I'm just, I'm living there with my family for a couple months. Okay. The dragon, he's, he's kind of aware that something is wrong, but he doesn't know exactly what. Okay. So yeah, we've been feeding off of this dragon. 
So then we're psychically linked. And I offer him a place in my home. You know, I'm like, hey, you can live inside of you if you want. Okay. With me. You can become a part of my family. Because what happened was is we were eating each other's fl- – I was eating his flesh. Yeah. And we mind melded. Okay. So yeah. now he's seen all of my memories and I've seen all of his. And we've come to like an understanding of each other of like love and peace. So we're almost one now with the dragon. It's kind of like dragon heart. Yeah. You know, we're melded. Yeah. As one. I'm, f- I'm following. Okay. So, and you know, I offer him a place in my home. But he's just weird. He's he's not he's not into it. So then I'm like, okay, here, listen here. I'm going to live inside of you until you move off of my land. And he doesn't believe me. So 70 years go by. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm now 110 years old. <laughs> my whole family, they died. <laughs> You've well, outlived your entire family. My wife. I had to eat her. Because <laughs> you ran out of dragon flesh. Well, no, I just didn't want to kill him. Because now oh. we're, we're like, we've come, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah, him yeah. more than my wife now at this point. Oh, yeah. So you fucked My him. kids, they fell in the stomach acid a long time ago. <laughs> they didn't make it past 20. No, no they were they were young. Like 10. Oh, 10 year olds. They died at like 10. Okay. But okay. you know what? My buddy needed sustenance. Yeah. So maybe they fell, maybe I pushed him. Who knows? <laughs> that was like 70 years ago. <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, I'm like 110 years old, but I still, I don't look a day over like 30 because I've been feeding off this dragon and he and you has, know how dragons yes, live for a long time. Yes. I have almost absorbed the powers of a dragon. Okay. From eating his flesh for so long. Okay. And, you know, sometimes I just explore around in this guy. Like I crawl up into his brain sometimes. Sometimes go down to like his I, butthole. Like peep my head out, see what the weather's like. <laughs> <laughs> See What's what the weather report? <laughs> you know, it just happens. Sometimes. Imagine being a, okay. I'm, I'm gonna pause right here. Imagine being a villager and you see this dragon <laughs> fly by and this dude's head sticking out of his ass and he goes, he goes, hey, what year is it? <laughs> and it's, like, it's like it's like 1482 and he's like, all right, thank you. <laughs> okay, go on. Okay, so then I'm kind of lonely. Like it's just me and this dragon chilling. So then. We go and we, we're trying to find out, like, pick up a celebrity okay. kind of to hang out with. Yeah. So, he eats Kylie Jenner. Sheesh. She's pretty hot, but, you know, like, he, this also, this man's hungry. Like, so, you've you've basically out, uh, outlived, you were in the past, and then I Kylie Jenner. I was in Jenner, the past, and now I'm in the now current Now you're time. in the current time, okay. Yes, I'm 30, but I'm 110 years old. Yeah. Because uh, I've been eating dragon flesh. Yeah, I'm for following. So long. Okay. But I look fucked up, kind of, because, like, I've started to grow scales. Because you're eating dragon I'm eating, flesh. I'm, yeah. I'm basically, like, becoming... A, this is how dragons are made. Okay. Okay? I'm it's following. by living inside them and eating their flesh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, how many dragons are there? I mean, goddamn, how, how often does that happen? That's <laughs> why well, there's only a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, uh, go on. You know, I look kind of fucked up, and she's kind of freaked out by me. So I just feed her to the dragon at that point. Okay, yeah. I'm just like, fuck that. Chunk her in the stomach acid. Yeah, yeah, she's just in there now. Yeah. I've actually moved locations at this point. I'm yeah. in the brain now. You're in the brain. You're I'm living control- in the brain. I'm now controlling the dragon. So why can't you just fly him off your land? Well, I'm getting there. Okay. Okay. I'm now controlling the dragon at this point. So here's what, here's what my plan was. You know what? Fuck the land at that point. I have a dragon under my control. I'm just going to take over the entire world. I'm going to be like Daenerys Stormborn from fucking Game of Thrones okay. up in this bitch. So then, you know, I'm flying around. I'm just burning down entire civilizations with this dragon. And at some point, I just, I forget what this is all about. And I just kill the dragon. <laughs> you just kill, how do you kill him? That's the I just point. put my whole arm through his fucking brain. <laughs> he just, just. Yeah. And he's just like. And then. You know, then I become a dragon. And then I'm on the land. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's a never-ending circle. It's Holy a never-ending process. And then Peyton comes up and challenges me to a fuck fest. Oh, <laughs> fuck. But this is this is, this is is Peyton reborn. That was, this, that was Peyton from the past. That was seven years ago. You're dead now. Yeah, I'm dead now. This is your reincarnation. Reincarnation fucking dragon. But dragons. what you don't know is I just got off... Like a 16,000 milligram Viagra bend as oh, a dragon. Shit. So my dragon fucking has already happened. I'm challenging you to another one. Yeah, in your reincarnation. But what you didn't know is I remembered what happened in the past and I knew it was coming this time. It's a prophecy. Yeah. 
So then I was ready for you. And this time, I won. I was the old dragon. Okay. And I fucked you to death. You fucked me to death. <laughs> and I win. And Spyro comes all over your dead body. What the fuck? <laughs> I just, Spyro I slowly beats the shit. Well, here's shit what happens. Me? Okay. You challenge me to a fuck fest. Yeah. And all, but you know, all the other dragons are around. There's probably only like 10 max. Okay. Okay. And they want to help, but then I, t- I tell them no. This is a 1v1 situation. And I am just plowing your tight little asshole to the point of where my dick is so big, it's coming out of your mouth. That's how long it is? <laughs> it's, it's, you don't see the track with a dragon, their dick never stops growing. Oh. Oh, okay. And think, okay, 70 years I was turning into a dragon. Yeah. This is 10,000 years after that. Oh, shit. So, like, my dick is huge. My dragon dick. And I just fucked you to death. It was over almost instant. I put it in, and it killed you. It was so big. <laughs> you just fucking murked me. <laughs> murked me by fucking me through the asshole through my mouth. And... Okay. What I had been doing, I knew you were going to try and use pesticides again. So I had slowly over time been eating pesticides so to you build up my immunity. It. Yes! That's so smart! I know. I, I knew exactly everything you were doing. So you could have swallowed pesticides or put them in your asshole. Didn't mm-hmm. matter. Waiting for me? I live off that shit. I can't, I can't come if I don't take pesticides. So in this version, the dragon wins. This isn't this version. This is later down the line. Well, well, I mean, in your version. Well, we have two pieces of land, okay? Like, there's your land right next to mine. And you live on my land, and I try to no, fuck no, you. No, no, no. Here, okay, look. This is, let's go back, way back in time to where I was a human. Yeah. And you were about to fuck your dragon. Okay. Okay, we both have land. Yeah. Here's here's my land. Here's your land right next to each other. Uh-huh. You have a dragon, and I have a dragon. I'm following. Okay, so, like, you fucked your dragon to death. Yeah. My dragon was still sitting over here. And so you remembered that. You remembered me I remember, fucking your dragon I, I to watched. death. I was sitting in the corner. Spy, yeah. Spyro had me. I was holding on to Spyro's tail. Oh. He was saving me too. I was drowning in cum as well. Oh, okay. So I'm over here. You're over here. I see all that happened. I take in what happened. I'm like, okay, here's what I'm going to do instead. And I ended up becoming a dragon. Remembering that there's a long prophecy that that was going to happen again. So then when I was a dragon, I was prepared this time. You were you were the chosen one. I was the old. Then I became the old white, oldest white dragon with the fattest cock. <laughs> oh shit! Because <laughs> uh, I fucked the old yes, one. Yes, that was in, yeah at the very end. Yes. Though. So yeah, that's that's how I would get the dragon off my land. Become the dragon. I ended up becoming the dragon in the end. I think that might beat mine. I don't know. Yours was pretty funny just because of all the cum and piss and shit <laughs> and blood <laughs> and blood. I was fucking dragons assholes making but the I prolapse. Fuck you literally okay. My dick is probably as long it as your body. It splits me in half. It almost did. Almost. I remember it. I, I mean, I like was, was hanging yesterday. on by thread. Yeah. So you died almost instantly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was still painful because, I mean, it, dragons don't go in quick. They, they make sure you feel it. No. Basically, what I did, okay, I put it up. To, here's your asshole. Yeah. And then I put it right up against it. Uh-huh. Then I just fucking rammed it all in at once. But and then I would die immediately. I know. It was it was it was surprising that you survived more than like one second after I did that. Huh. <laughs> it's your fucking insane. That's brilliant. And then there's this one guy that came up to me and he offered me 72 virgin hermaphrodite donkeys. Oh. And I fucked them all and got them all pregnant. And then I had an army of donkey dragons hermaphrodites hermaphrodites and i took over the entire world damn second prophecy i know so yeah i was just i think in terms of uh story you win uh in creativity i win no creativity cyrus wins you think mine wasn't creative oh yours i lived inside of a dragon yours was okay here's the box Okay. Okay. This is your story. You are so fucking far out of the box. <laughs> you you have taken so much LSD. You have lost the box. You can't even find then I it. I incorporated both of your stories into mine, and you brought it back to the box. I know. And so, so yours, yours wins the storytelling. No, no, no. no. Oh, fuck. Mine had literally a what? What's that guy's name that has the great twists? M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan twist. In the last podcast. Yeah, I became the dragon. In the last podcast, we said, fuck M. Night Shyamalan. Why? Uh, I, just, 
I, I don't mean, know. I don't, I've I never really even seen any of his I, movies. I didn't but say that. Brad and Colby did. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan really... wrote the new Captain America where he's both transgender and queer. Okay, well, fuck M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but anyway. You've ruined Captain America. We'll say yours wins storytelling. Mine wins probably the yours most. Yours is the funniest, a, I think. Yeah, funniest. Yours is very funny. And then Cyrus won oh, yeah. creativity. I mean, because who was going to think? You know, grab a dragon and give him seventy two <laughs> hermaphrodite very virgin donkeys. Number. Why seventy two? It's a, no reasoning it's behind Islamic. it. It's Islamic. Islamic. Yeah. He's an Islamic dragon. He Here's says what I would his do: actually, five daily prayers. I would lay out. <laughs> I'd lay out a path of Qurans. Okay. <laughs> because everybody knows the that, dragons can't. They no, can't. No, you just set up a fake twin towers, and he's just lord to them. He's like, ah, <laughs> praise Allah! I'm going to fucking blow this place up. Everybody knows that dragons are terrorists. Oh, absolutely, especially <laughs> the Islamic. Babe, ones. Was it me and you that were talking about a religion cheat day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when I was when I was picking you up to fix your tire, uh, we we're talking about <laughs> we we're talking about how like Islamic people aren't really bad people, but they have one. One, one day a year where they can cheat and do whatever the fuck they want and, and it just so happened was, to be 9-11 I was talking about how 9-11 was their cheat day and they were like <laughs> I am so sorry I, I am so sorry I am a am good man but today I blow you up yeah I, today is a religion cheat day I have to blow your twin tires up and your pentagon and everybody's like what the fuck is a religion cheat day and he's like oh <laughs> Oh, fuck. We are at a minute, one hour, 45 seconds, uh, 45 minutes, and about, oh no, we're at an hour 46. So with that, we'll leave you with uh, dragon fucking and Islamic terrorism. <laughs> what are we um, going to name this one? Uh, I'll come up with it in the morning. Um, Slut dragons. It'll probably be like fucking, ah, oh, fuck. It'll probably be like. I don't remember what the whole entire first half of it was it, about. Now it was, all I remember is we dragon got, well, in the fucking. Entire first we got half, serious we were, like, and actually the, being serious, yeah. and then towards the end, we just we're, we're just spiral. so deliriously tired. <laughs> we just talk about and fucking dragons. We have to end this. We can just we record two to, ones straight in a row right now. We have to watch an episode of Rick and Morty. Let's start the next podcast. Let's end this and then start another one. Well, what are we going to talk about? I don't know. We just started talking about fucking dragons for an hour. <laughs> okay, that's true. Okay, so uh, with that, uh, we're going to leave you off with this podcast, episode three, with Daniel and Cyrus. Thank you for being such good guests. We appreciate it greatly. Even though Colby couldn't be here, um, if episode four comes out and it's still them, that means we literally just stopped this recording and started a new one <laughs> just to get it out of the way. Um this will probably that that next one that might be a Patreon episode, dude. Let's get fucking Tyler on it. Okay, Tyler. Yeah, is he asleep? Where no, he's he? in there playing to or fucking. Stardew. Yeah, Stardew Valley. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just ask him if he wants to be on. Uh, so, anything you need to say to the audience? Um, um, <sighs> dragon sex is the best. And so is fucking sea life. That's what it, we should do. Something about fucking sea life. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go more into depth about fucking sea life. Um, yeah. Just gonna yeah. Cut okay. It. So, Cyrus, anything you'd like to say to the audience before we close this off? Um, be safe. Don't fuck too many guys and get an STD. Hey, Amen. And then uh, Islamic dragons. Hey, okay. Thank you very much for watching or listening uh, right now on YouTube. Uh, we appreciate all the views, all the likes, subscribe, all that. Um, I really don't give a fuck if anybody likes it. If you don't like it's it, honestly dislike just it. It's just like whenever it's, we get to the point where it's just funny, it's just yeah, it's uh, just us enjoying it, ourselves. That, yeah. Um, but if you do enjoy it, leave a comment telling us if you, you know, want something else, uh, to be talked about, that'll be greatly appreciated. Hit me up on Instagram. It, they'll all be in the uh, description. Uh, I think I'm going to put time codes. Uh, so if you want to skip around, I'll put time codes in the description. So if you don't want to hear us talk about sappy shit and me getting arrested, you can skip straight to the fucking the dragons. That um, was the or, best or raping sea creatures, oh, whichever raping sea you creatures, prefer. Yep. My favorite part is probably whenever Peyton was talking about how he 
<laughs> he had Spyro pull him out of the sea of cum. <laughs> well, the, and then baited the Spyro, was... and he died by a stalactite of cum falling from the ceiling. And he right through his head. That one's also, okay, you've also got the part where he's got the hula hoop of giant dildos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just, all right. You just fucking all right. All right, let's right. end this off. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the Four Boys Podcast. Have a great night or day. <laughs> Bye-bye.